Soon, Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheeto will testify about the assassination attempt on former President Trump. She'll have to answer for the growing list of security lapses that led to the shooting. CB Cotton is live from Butler, Pennsylvania. You have the latest for us because, CB, there's still so many questions that are unanswered. Still so many questions, and Dana, she's never been here to the rally site, but today Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle faces tough questions about what went wrong here. This comes as lawmakers do their own digging. Republican Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin released his office's preliminary findings, echoing what we've been told by federal sources that Thomas Matthew Crooks was on the radar of law enforcement at least an hour before shots rang out. Other key findings include that Secret Service did not attend a security briefing provided to local SWAT and sniper teams the morning of July 13th. Local law enforcement said communications were siloed and they were not in frequent radio contact directly with Secret Service and that local law enforcement notified command about crooks prior to the shooting and received confirmation that Secret Service was aware of the notification. Johnson says about 30 minutes before the shooting, a local sniper took this picture of a bike and bags near the building crooks fired from. We spoke to one rally goer who did not want to show his face, but said signs of trouble were spotted early on. One of the volunteers was so upset by the lack of security, he went home that night and told his wife he's not going in. He stayed out in the parking lot directing, helping people park, and he never went in because of this lack of security. House Homeland Security Committee Chair Mark Green and several of the committee's members will, will tour the rally site here behind me at 11.30 local time. Afterwards, they're expected to speak with the media about what they saw and what they learned inside the still-closed crime scene. Dana. CB, do you know whether Secret Service denied requests from the Trump campaign specifically for this event? Hi, Dana. Well, the Washington Post reported over the weekend that uh, some some information that people in Trump's inner circle had been saying for quite some time that requests for more security and manpower had been denied. The Washington Post confirmed that. Our federal sources confirmed that. But my federal source insists that this rally on July 13th was not one of those instances where resources were denied. So that's the latest we're hearing from here on the ground. OK, CB, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.